What up guys, my name is Overman and as you know, it's Zer Day. I'm extra hyped this week since my first Zer Day with you guys. If you didn't know, Zer is some possessed tentacle face guy that sells exotics in the tower every weekend. This week, he's in Tower North across from the speaker. So let's take a look at what he's got. So in the Titan slot, we have the MK44 stand sides, making a return appearance from last week. I can only recommend these if you're a striker titan in PvP that likes to run around and shoulder charge but you find that sometimes shoulder charge runs out too quickly. If that's you, then I'd recommend these as they'll increase the duration by 3 seconds. They also allow you to carry more ammo for heavy weapons, which means more free kills. You know, with the Armatarium, it gives you an extra grenade, and you can actually see it on the chest piece. So that makes sense, but where the fuck does the heavy ammo go with these boots? Are you gonna hide rockets in your socks? And are you gonna be wearing LMG ammo around your ankle? Whatever. Moving on. This week hunters get the Don't Touch Me gauntlets. These are awesome in Crota's end, specifically in the Abyss. Hunters can easily solo the first part of the raid with these gauntlets. I highly recommend these. Honestly, when I'm in the Abyss with my other characters, I'm like, man, I wish I had the Don't Touch Me's for this class too. The stat roll isn't very good, but it doesn't matter because these are still a must buy. These are awesome. The other bonuses make this useful outside of the raid as well. Increased reload speed with special weapons is solid and increased super energy from killing minions of the darkness is always good. And for the Warlocks, we have Void Fang, I mean Starfire Protocol. This chess piece is how I know that Bungie hates Warlocks because these are just bootleg armatariums. They give intellect and it's a great stat roll. An extra fusion grade is nice if you like fusion grenades and the extra fusion rifle ammo is nice but I don't see why it's not just extra special ammo in general. And extra heavy ammo is always great. Overall this piece is decent and if you have a Sunsinger and don't have Heart of Praxic Fire and want a chest piece then I'd say go ahead and buy them. I have one myself and I can say that I'm pretty happy that I got them. And our weapon for this week is Dragon's Breath. This I'm gonna go ahead and say is not a must buy at all. In fact, I highly recommend that you don't buy it. It's got a great blast radius but very poor velocity and velocity is an important stat for a rocket launcher. Magazine size is 2 but it has the upgrade for 3 in the tube. So I don't know why they didn't just give it 3 in the tube and then give it a nice upgrade. It doesn't make sense to me. It's not that big of a deal. The main bonus is another reason why this rocket launcher isn't very good because its bonus is rounds fired from this weapon leave a solar flare upon detonation which means a solar grenade from a sun singer. It leaves that on the ground so you know enemies walk around it and walk out of it and whatnot that's just how it works so it's really just not a good perk on a rocket launcher. I highly recommend that you don't pick this up and I recommend a legendary rocket launcher over this one. I think one way ticket is superior to this. I've already bought it though because I want to play around with it and I want to do a review on it, but I don't recommend you to do the same. This week we also have an exotic gauntlet engram. So if you want the don't touch me's, but you're low on strange coins and have a bunch of moats, you can gamble on these and possibly save some coins and maybe get a better stat roll too. Personally, I do want ruin wings, but I'm not going to gamble because there's a small chance that I'm going to get them since I only have enough for one engram so i'll just save up for a chest engram and hope that i get praxic fire since that seems like the only way i'll ever get them from Zer. and of course we have the exotic shard which is used to upgrade your exotic weapons for exotic upgrades we have mask of the third man for the hunter this is just a good week for hunters because this is also a great piece for the hard mode raid when you face crota there's no chalice so these will help you re replenish health when you pick up an orb awesome bonus in fact, you'd want a helmet like this for all classes that have this bonus for that hard mode raid. It gives intellect, it's a decent stat roll, not the best, 104, 112. And of course, you know the other bonuses if you've got it. Highly recommend that you upgrade these if you have a hunter. For hunters, we also have young Ahamkara's spine, meh. Helm of Inmost Light, very solid, I recommend upgrading it. Press of Alpha Loopy, I don't recommend because these are mostly useful in skirmish and level doesn't matter in skirmish because it's crucible. For the Warlocks, we have Skull of Dire Ahamkara and Sunbreakers upgrade as you see fit. And for the weapons, we have Cerus Regime, Thorn, Universal Remote, Pocket Infinity, Icebreaker, and Super Good Advice. Upgrade these as you see fit, but I would recommend not upgrading Super Good Advice even if you want a 331 version. Personally, I'm waiting for the bounty so that I can upgrade it and get the 331 version. But the thing is, the bounty is so easy that I don't want to waste an exotic shard and the glimmer on this upgrade when I can get an exotic shard from breaking down the one I have now and then get a new one from the really easy bounty. For telemetries, we have hand can telemetry. Fusion Rifle Telemetry, and Rocket Launcher Telemetry. This is nice for upgrading that Dragon's Breath, which you shouldn't buy. And our Sparrow upgrades are Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil. If you didn't know, these will upgrade a blue rare Sparrow and turn it into a purple legendary Sparrow. They're very pricey. 
honestly. <laughs> but if you've got strange coins and you want to blow them, there you go. And there's no heavy ammo synthesis. Now, I don't need it personally, but I don't understand why Bungie just can't make Zerbring it every week. Just make Zerbring heavy ammo and the engram every week. I don't understand why they can't do this. It's not like it's going to break the game or anything like that. You're just going to make people happy. Make it happen, Bungie. But anyways, this is your inventory for Zer for this week. Once again, today is January 30th and a pretty lackluster inventory for my first third day with you guys. But oh well, hopefully he has something better next week. Till next time, guys. Overman out.